Welcome, everybody, to another edition of On-Prem Pros. We are joined today by uh, the Xbyte, the Xbyte Technologies Solution Architect, Josh Moss. Josh, welcome today. Hello. I'm Ryan Brown. I'm CMO of Xbyte Solutions. And today, we're going to be talking about an uh, open and managed integration with VMware vCenter. Now, I know the official title is a bit of a mouthful. So, Josh, can you give us the official title? Yep. The full name is Dell's Open Managed Enterprise Integration for VMware vCenter, um, or OMEVV is what we'll just refer to it as to save some breath. So, O M I E O M E I V V. Wow. Okay. So everyone's got that. So, Josh, what, what is this tool? Yeah. So, o, uh, so Open Managed Enterprise at its core is a it's an appliance that you deploy and you connect to um, um, all of your iDRACs, your networking devices. Um, the Dell and VMware has taken that a bit further and made it a plug-in so that way you can integrate um, Open Managed Enterprise into vCenter for you to see um, hardware information that you typically find in iDRAC or Open Managed Enterprise. Um, and that's basically what OMEVV is. So if, if if you weren't using this, what would you be doing? Is there is there other manual steps to do this without the tool? Yeah. So if you weren't going to using if you're not using OMEVV today, um, you're either going to your iDRAX individually or using Open Manage Enterprise potentially um, to manage all of your firmware versions, hardware alerts, um, and such. Okay. And, and we were talking before the show um, about the, the there's an older version of this. The, yep. I think you mentioned OMIVV. This replaces. Yep. Is it, this is an upgrade to that? Yep, exactly. So the the predecessor to OMEVV is OMIVV, and basically the same name, just knockoff enterprise. So it was Open Manage Integration for VMware vCenter. Um, but yeah, that's the older version of it. Um, but there is an upgrade path from the predecessor to the the latest OMEVV. Okay, great. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna get on to the show here. Uh, bring on the star of the show. Josh has some screens he's going to show that go into the tool, and he walk you through all the steps. Um, the with this, as you imagine, it's normally on your full monitor. So we do advise you to do full screen for the presentation, not just the small YouTube video. Uh, but it's up to everyone what they do. That's, that is our recommendation. So I'm going to go ahead and let's bring on the star of the show. All right. Yep. So what we have here is the Open Manage integration for vCenter um, dashboard. Um, so in your vCenter, um, there's you go to the the main administration area hamburger, and then there's a drop down for the Open Manage integration. Just as you would see, um, maybe some storage appliances you have integrated or NSX. Um, here we have the dashboard. It just gives you kind of a ten thousand foot overview of the integration itself. It shows the health of your servers. It shows warranty, their statuses, um, shows any jobs that are scheduled or running or may have failed. Um, also shows, you know, baseline compliance with, um, you know, that compares the desired firmware update levels of what the servers also have. Um, but one interesting call out I wanna make here is under the middle left manage nodes. With uh, Open Managed Enterprise, it's highly scalable. You can do up to 15, you can connect it to 15 different vCenters and to the tune of 2,000 hosts, 2,000 physical servers. And then kind of moving right along from um, left to right, um, the next tab we have here, host and chassis. There's only one example host in this lab. Um, you can see that it's managed and it is healthy. Um, a neat feature is you can also manage not only your rack mount servers, but you can attach it to your chassis, such as your MX 7000s and manage the chassis and all of its nodes that it has within it. Here, a um, lot of information. I'm gonna start on the left side, bottom up. Um, so system profile, it allows you to define a, an iDRAC profile. So it, you can define you know, default iDRAC settings, um, IP, you can make sure it's DHCP or what have you. You can you choose a default system profile, whether that's OS managed, performance per watt, um, performance, um, ISO profile, um, as everyone might or might not be aware of actually. Um, 
Dell issues custom ISO images um, for for iDrive or sorry for PowerEd servers in particular. Um, that's on the VMware site. You can create an ISO profile based on that. So whenever new servers are deployed, it'll be imaged with it. Um, repository profile. Um, the default downloads.dell.com profile um, is what we have here. If you have you know a third party or a custom one that you want to use, you can utilize it as well. Um, baseline profile. Uh, that's where you can go and associate. The, the clusters and the profiles, you know, like downloads.dell.com to one another. And the result of that is what we have here. It shows the baseline compliance. Um, you see it's attached to the, the cluster name, which is physical. Uh, I created the physical cluster profile and you can see off to the far right that is using the default Dell catalog, which is that downloads.dell.com I mentioned. Um, and one interesting thing you see here that we'll touch base on a couple different times is the fact that the server is not compliant with what uh, the latest version has. So if we view the compliance report, we can see here that there's the there's a Broadcom NetExtreme update. The current firmware value is the 2261.8, but there's actually an update. A um, couple different options to update that. You know, legacy stuff, you could go and do it through your lifecycle controller, schedule it via iDRAC. Um, those are the, the older ways of doing it, a little more time consuming because you have to go to different places to do it. Um, but as we'll see here um, shortly, there's a there's a much easier way to do this. Before we get to that, I want to give you all kind of a view of um, the Open Manage integration at the cluster level. Um, and I will say um, all of the next slides that we're about to go over, you can view it at a cluster level. So all servers in a cluster, you can also drill down to specific servers as well. Um, so first, we got an overview. It shows the cluster information, how many hosts, how many are managed memory, virtual disk capacity, also kind of just an overview of the cluster. Next, we're going to go to the hardware tab. This is pretty neat. It shows you all of the, the components within the server. It even gives you some part numbers. It tells you, uh, it shows you what processors you have, power supplies, um, how many mo memory modules you have, your NICs, um, PCI slots, and what is populating each of those. Um, again, this is all information that you can see in iDRAC. Um, but it's really neat that uh, you can see all this directly within vCenter, not have to go to a separate UI just to find this information. Next is the storage tab. Um, it'll show you what physical disks are installed and you know what virtual disks you may have created as well. Firmware versions, it shows also all within iDRAC. It shows you the firmware versions of each of the components that you have within your servers. And I skipped over the last two, but you see there power monitoring. It tells you cumulative um, wattage utilized and what the max utilized is. And then warranty, it'll show you um, warranty expiration dates. It'll show you what the warranty level is. Just a, a nice little value add. And then finally here, I want to call back to the, the mismatch Broadcom um, extreme, that extreme firmware version that we saw. So this is from the cluster updates view. Um, First, I want to call out that right here, you, whenever you hit edit, you can you know choose your desired ESXi version, um, but you can also choose a firmware and driver add-on kind of there that we have um, boxed in red. Whenever you click that, um, you get the option to choose what VMware calls a hardware support manager. Um, it's in this specific case, since we're talking about Dell, um, you'll see that we chose the Dell OMEVV plugin. And you can see there we chose the physical cluster profile. So that we can see from another angle that the, the profile has been applied to the cluster. Um, and with that, we see that not only can we apply the latest ESXi updates, um, what it will also do for you is it'll go through and it'll download the firmware components from the update catalog, and it'll apply that all the same. Um, if you didn't have a hardware support manager integrated with to the VLC, VLCM, which is the, the vSphere lifecycle manager, you would have to go out and do those separately. Um, but as we see here, it, it, it bundles it all together and it does it for you and just makes your life a whole lot easier. And that's the last slide I have. All right, so a lot of great information there, Josh. So I know you'd, you'd wanted to show this link to everybody. And so right down below, you'll see a link 
to this is where you can download uh, the, the open manager tool that Josh was just talking about. Is there anything else there yep. that they can get access to? Yep, absolutely. Um, I will say that Open Manage Enterprise, for this to work, you have to get the Open Manage Enterprise Advanced Plus license. That is licensed on a per server basis. So it's similar to if you were to um, include iDRAC Data Center or iDRAC Enterprise with a purchase, uh, there's just another little license that you have to add on. Um, I know it's it's just a couple or a few hundred bucks per server, um, but it is a perpetual license, so it's a, it's a one-time thing. Um, in addition, if you want to try it out before you actually pay for it, you can you can you can get the license after the point of sale during this uh, server purchase. Um, but a neat feature that Dell has is they they'll give you a trial license, um, so that way you can actually trial it out um, for it's either sixty or ninety days before you actually you know commit to the purchase, um, just to see the value add that it gives you, and whenever it comes to managing your clusters and, and saving your, your admins a lot of time. And we will include the link here, um, so you don't have to write it down. We'll put that in the, in the YouTube and the blog notes so you can get access to that. Um, I, interesting about all the updates that people that you end up having to do. On the uh, on the XBite Cloud team, uh, we do all that management for you. So it's kind of like set it and forget it. Um, so it's a nice feature if you are moving it all to the cloud. Um, I know even Josh works on, we can handle updates for you as well. So if you are int interested, um, please reach out to us. There'll be information on YouTube. Uh, you can also look at look at the xbyte.com website um, and reach out to us if you want us to do any of that for you. Josh, any, any closing comments for everybody? Nope, I'm good. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. Um, we're excited to have you learn about the Open Manage tool for VMware vCenter. And have a great day. Thanks. Have a good one.